The phrase golden age of cinema conjures up images of brooding leading men and glamorous Hollywood alpha males and females. But the era was also an outrageous time of Hollywood cougars and scandalous seductresses, male and female movie stars who did what they wanted when they wanted and were seemingly immune to the gossip their affairs stirred up. Let's explore the 10 worst cheaters who have rocked the world of Hollywood. Number 10. Jack Nicholson In Hollywood, Jack Nicholson was known for his charm and charisma, and this surely reflects on his personal life. Jack is notorious for his inability to settle down. Behind the scenes, he had a reputation as a notorious womanizer. Jack fathered six children by five women, but he's married only once. His marriage was to Sandra Knight, with whom he got separated after four years, due to obvious reasons, I suppose. Jack then had a relationship afterwards with Michelle Phillips, the ex-wife of his best friend, Dennis Hopper. Boundaries Jack. I'm not sure Jack even knows bro code exists. Anyways, after this affair ended, Jack went on to have his longest relationship of 16 years with the talented and Oscar-winning actress, Angelica Houston. This relationship had its series of on and off and was marked with a series of cheating on Angelica. Despite the length of their relationship, these guys never got married, and Angelica recounts in her memoir that she wanted to wed Nicholson at times, even telling him, if you had any balls, you'd marry me. His reply was, marry you? Are you kidding? And I think this is just hurtful for someone he shared such a long time with. During the period of their relationship, Jack was involved with former Bond girl Jill St. John and Danish model Winnie Hallman, with whom he supposedly fathered a daughter, Honey. According to reports, Jack revealed to Angelica that he was expecting a child with Rebecca Broussard, a woman who was 12 years younger than Angelica. This revelation shattered their relationship and Angelica made the difficult decision to end things with Jack. According to Houston's memoir, Houston remembered finding other women's belongings at the house of the world-class philanderer, but also noted that Nicholson was actually quite discreet, given the scope of his infidelity. The relationship with Houston ended amid actress-waitress Rebecca Broussard's first pregnancy with Nicholson. He and Broussard split up in 1994, and that same year, Nicholson supposedly had a daughter, Tessa, with waitress Janine Gourin. Despite the heartbreak, Angelica eventually found solace in the arms of sculptor Robert Graham, whom she married in 1992, and their love endured until Robert's passing in 2008. Number 9. Ingrid Bergman The enchanting Ingrid Bergman was seen as a saint in Hollywood and was loved by many for her timeless classic Casablanca. However, behind closed doors, Ingrid was not the saint many thought her to be. Bergman found herself entangled in a web of forbidden love while still married to her first husband, Peter Lindstrom. Ingrid Bergman ruined her Hollywood image when it was revealed that she had an affair in the early 1950s with the married director of her 1950 film, Stromboli, director Roberto Rossellini. Their affair took a shocking turn when Bergman became pregnant, causing a storm of controversy, particularly in the United States. Because both stars were married to other people at the time, these caused fans to turn their backs on the once beloved actress bombarding her with hate-filled letters. No one knew how serious their action was until Edward C. Johnson, a U.S. Senator who saw Bergman's affair as a threat to the institution of marriage. Inspired by the flesh, Edward proposed a bill that would require movies to obtain licenses based on the morality of their stars and filmmakers. Johnson accused Bergman of perpetrating an assault upon the institution of marriage and labeled her a powerful influence for evil. At this time, I am not sure Bergman was the first man or woman to be involved in an affair, so I think Edward was just doing too much. However, the scandal was so heated that Bergman left America for Europe until 1956 when she came back with her Oscar nomination for the film Anastasia. Ingrid Bergman and Roberto Rossellini's tumultuous affair lasted from 1950 to 1957, resulting in a marriage and the birth of three children. Theirs is a story that has forever marked Hollywood's history of infidelity. One might wonder how Bergman's husband felt about her affairs, and you would be shocked to know that he was in the know. When asked by the biographer why he didn't ask for a divorce, he replied bluntly, I lived with that because of her income. Number 8. Cary Grant 
Cary Grant was known for his demeanor and light approach to acting. He was also one to carry a web of affairs, as there was absolutely more than enough women, and men, to pick from. Grant was married five times and had only one daughter. Cary got married to Virginia Cheryl and Barbara Hutton, whom he divulged her before meeting Betsy Drake. Betsy Drake was Cary Grant's third wife, and they were married for 13 years. However, during this time, Cary was involved in a romantic affair with Sophia Loren while filming The Pride and Passion. Now, the crazy part is that Grant's wife, Betsy Drake, had originally written the script and was cast alongside her husband. However, Grant, who found himself captivated by the youthful charm of the 23-year-old Lauren, began an affair and sought for ways to remove his wife from the movie. Determined to remove his wife from the equation, he had a new script commission, and this new version cut Drake out of the role and replaced her with Lauren, who would become his new leading lady on and off the screen. Tragically, Drake never received credit for her work as the original writer of Houseboat, and her contribution was overshadowed by the scandalous affair with Lauren who left Grant to embark on a different journey, marrying film producer Carlo Ponte. Drake and Grant ended things, and he went ahead to marry Diane Cannon on July 22, 1965 in Las Vegas's Dunes Hotel. He then married Barbara Harris in the early 1980s, the wife who took care of his after his stroke till he eventually passed away. Number 7. Humphrey Bogart When you remember Bogart, you are most likely reminded of a cynical tough guy, but in actuality, the real Bogart was gentler, more romantic, more yearning. In fact, he was kind of a softy. Humphrey Bogart met Lauren Bacall in 1944, and that was when a live affair began. The actors crossed paths on the set of To Have and Have Not. During this time, Bogart, 44 and married, found himself irresistibly drawn to the youthful Bacall, a mere 19 years of age. Their connection immediately defied all odds, including a significant 25-year age gap. But love knows no boundaries, especially in the realm of Hollywood. However, their burgeoning romance did not escape the watchful eye of Howard Hanks, their director who, as rumors had it, held a secret infatuation for Bacall himself. Upon learning of Bogart and Bacall's relationship, Hawks, possibly driven by jealousy, sought to destroy their blossoming love. He allegedly approached Lauren Bacall and began to whisper doubts into her ear. Cox claimed that Bogart would discard her once filming concluded, even going so far as to threaten her career. In a bold move, Hanks insinuated that he could relegate Bacall to the lowest studios in Hollywood, a bluff intended to intimidate her, but love it seems is not so easily deterred and Bacall was ready to go all in for love regardless of whatever scare from anyone. Mind you, Bogart was mostly faithful to his wives, but before his third divorce and his marriage to Bacall, he was in a three-year secret affair with Arizona-born Verita Pete Peterson. Bogie later got the studio to hire her as a wig maker, assigned to make and fit his increasingly necessary toupees on his movie sets. Bogart never officially ended things with Pete, and it is alleged that after marriage, Bogart and Bacall often cheated on one another, even though they stayed together till the end of his years. Number 6. Johnny Cash The timeless and iconic musician, Johnny Cash was another legendary cheater in Hollywood. In the early 1960s, Cash found himself entangled in a web of temptation and heartache, while his hit song I Walked the Line declared his unwavering commitment to his wife, Vivian Cash. Despite the beautiful music dedicated to his wife, Cash's love for the forbidden fruit proved stronger than the love for his wife. In 1956, Johnny crossed paths with the country singer June Carter, and something sparked between them instantaneously igniting a fire that would consume them both. In spite of his marital vows, Johnny succumbed to the seductive pull of June's charms, leading him down a path of infidelity. The consequences of his infidelity soon caught up with him when Vivian, his devoted wife, could no longer bear the weight of his substance abuse and alleged extramarital affairs, and she filed for divorce severing the ties that had once bound them together. After his divorce, Johnny's connection with June Carter only grew stronger. In February 1968, Johnny, in a moment that would be etched in music history, got down on one knee and asked June to be his forever, and she accepted this request and their love affair then became official. From that moment on, June stood side by side with their love standing strong against the trials and tribulations of life together. 
The couple weathered the storms creating music that resonated with the souls of millions and leaving an indelible mark on the world. Despite his marriage to June, Cash was still heavily involved with drugs and substance use and still remained unfaithful as always. It is alleged that Cash had a forbidden affair with June Carter's sister Anita and got her pregnant. According to National Enquirer, June was aware of the affair, made peace with it, and even moved her into the Cash home when she became elderly and could no longer care for herself. Number 5. Arnold Schwarzenegger In 2011, the news of Arnold Schwarzenegger's infidelity sent shockwaves through Hollywood and the United States. The former governor and action superstar had been unfaithful to his wife of 25 years, Maria Schriever. The news of the affair came to light after about a decade. The revelation came to light that Arnold had engaged in an affair with Mildred Patricia Bayana, a housekeeper who worked in their home. What made this scandal even more startling was the fact that Mildred had given birth to Arnold's son, Joseph Ayana, back in 1997, for over a decade. The affair, which was hidden from Maria and the public, eventually came to light after Arnold's time as governor had ended, and he made the difficult decision to disclose the truth to his wife. The disclosure of the affair and the existence of Joseph made Maria swiftly file for divorce, and the couple's relationship, which was once a pillar of Hollywood power, was irreparably damaged by the betrayal. However, reports suggest that the divorce proceedings have been prolonged due to disagreements over financial matters. In an interview with the LA Times in 2011 speaking of the divorce, Arnold said, I understand and deserve the feelings of anger and disappointment among my friends and family. There are no excuses, and I take full responsibility for the hurt I have caused. I have apologized to Maria, my children, and my family. I am truly sorry. After the whole incident died down, Arnold sought to rebuild his relationship with Joseph, and the father and son developed a bond sharing a passion for bodybuilding, and Joseph even made a recent appearance on the popular television show Dancing with the Stars, possibly due to his father's influence. Number 4. Eddie Fisher In the glitzy world of 1950s Hollywood, a scandalous love triangle unfolded captivating the public's attention and forever altering the lives of three prominent stars. At the center of the tumultuous affair were singer Eddie Fisher, his wife actress Debbie Reynolds, and their close friend, actress Elizabeth Taylor. Debbie was the first wife of Fisher with whom they enjoyed a seemingly happy marriage. But the winds of change went through their lives when Elizabeth's husband, Mike Todd, tragically passed away leaving her devastated in her time of need. Eddie, known for his comforting nature, stepped in to console his grieving friend, but this comfort soon became something more. The acts of consolation ignited a passionate spark between Eddie and Taylor, and they began an affair. People became aware of the affair as they spent time together. There were so many whispers around Debbie who began to put two and two together. During a fateful dinner party, she sensed something was wrong, and while people were whispering, she could only pick out Eddie and Elizabeth in their conversation, which made her shocked and confused. Debbie eventually confirmed her fears when she made a phone call to Elizabeth for company while Eddie was away on tour. However, instead of Elizabeth's voice on the line, it was Eddie himself who answered, a clear indication of their illicit affair. After Debbie caught the pair together, Fisher reportedly rushed home, not to apologize, but to tell Reynolds he'd fallen in love with Taylor and wanted a divorce. This just broke her heart and tore her into several pieces. This was not Fisher's first affair, as he has had numerous affairs with women which contributed to his turbulent marriage to Debbie Reynolds. One of his notable affairs was with model Pat Sheehan. They eventually parted ways after Fisher refused to divorce Reynolds. Reynolds said, I was very religious, so I didn't believe in divorce, Reynolds explained, but they laid guilt on me that I was keeping them and true love apart. So I finally let Eddie off the hook. The same day their divorce was finalized, Taylor and Fisher got married, causing a media frenzy and cementing their place in scandalous Hollywood history. Number 3. Elizabeth Taylor We would agree that Elizabeth Taylor sure knows how to find herself in the midst of scandal. Asides from the not-so-perfectly-good home she managed to scatter amongst Fisher and Reynolds, she sure had a lot of hers to settle. After Taylor and Fisher ended things, a passionate love affair between Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton unfolded amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood 
and this torrid romance rocked the industry, leaving a trail of broken hearts and scandal in its wake. It all began on the set of the epic film Cleopatra in 1963. Elizabeth Taylor, already married for the fourth time to singer and actor Eddie Fisher, found herself irresistibly drawn to the magnetic presence of Richard Burton, who was married to his first wife Sybil Williams at the time. It's no new thing that Elizabeth was used to tearing a home apart so soon flames of desire ignited fueling an affair that went beyond the confines of the silver screen. Their illicit relationship caused ripples of discontent on the film set with co-workers, witnessing their intense arguments, and observing the couple retreating to their trailers when they should have been filming. Even paparazzi who were hungry for scandal infiltrated the set by disguising themselves as extras capturing every stolen moment of Taylor and Burton's forbidden love. The affair was so all over the place that even the Vatican's newspaper voiced its disapproval denouncing their affair as an erotic vagrancy. And if that wasn't enough, a Georgia congressperson went as far as urging the United States to deny the actor's entry due to their perceived undesirability. Despite almost being excommunicated, the couples did not mind what anyone said or how they made anyone feel. This wasn't just a fleeting romance. Elizabeth Taylor and Richard Burton's connection was so powerful that they defied societal norms and tied the knot in 1964, after ending things with both of their partners. Well, I guess for Fisher, a good turn deserves another. Can't say the same for Burton's wife. Their love story captivated the world, making headlines and keeping the tabloids abuzz with every twist and turn. They were the epitome of a tempestuous Hollywood romance, constantly making headlines with their extravagant lifestyle and extravagant declarations of love. Number 2. John F. Kennedy After Arnold Schwarzenegger's scandal, nothing should shock anyone again when it comes to scandals from politicians, although anyone would say it is too bold coming from the president himself. American politics soon mixed Hollywood stardom in its affairs, as many captivating stars were often invited to parties at the White House. This soon permitted a scandalous affair between President John F. Kennedy and the iconic Marilyn Monroe. The rumors of their romance have persisted over the years fueling speculation and intrigue. According to biographer Donald Spado, there is strong evidence to suggest that JFK and Marilyn had an encounter during a party at Bing Crosby's Palm Springs home in March of 1962. However, the infinite moment that added fuel to the fire was Marilyn's seductive rendition of Happy Birthday to the President, which sent tongues wagging and imaginations running wild. Even though the alleged affair with Marilyn cast a shadow over JFK's marriage to Jackie Kennedy, she chose to stand by her husband until his tragic assassination in 1963. The strength and resilience displayed by Jackie during those difficult times became a symbol of grace under pressure and solidified her place in history, because if she had allowed speculations affect her home and she filed for a divorce, she would lose her title as a first lady, and who knows, maybe Marilyn might just take a place. A lose-lose for her. Marilyn Monroe had used her sexuality to her advantage throughout her career, gaining fame and fortune. Yet it was her romantic entanglements that often made headlines. She had been married to baseball player Joe DiMaggio and playwright Arthur Miller, but her relationships with well-known figures didn't stop there. The alleged affairs with both President John F. Kennedy and his brother Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy added further controversy and intrigue to Monroe's already tumultuous life. Number 1. Frank Sinatra. The smooth and charismatic voice of Frank Sinatra serenaded audiences worldwide, but behind the scenes, the legendary crooner found himself entangled at a web of love and infidelity. Frank Sinatra was married to his childhood sweetheart, Nancy Barbato, whom he met in the summer of 1934 while working as a lifeguard. He agreed to marry her after an incident at the rustic cabin that led to his arrest. After his marriage to Nancy, Sinatra had numerous extramarital affairs and gossip magazines published details of affairs with women including Marilyn Maxwell, Lana Turner, Joy Lansing, and Marilyn Monroe. Despite these affairs, Sinatra was not smitten by anyone until he crossed paths with the captivating Ava Gardner in 1943. Their first encounter at a club left Frank struck by Ava's beauty. Despite still being married to Nancy, Frank's connection with Ava grew stronger, and their affair blossomed, and in 1951, Frank divorced Nancy and married Ava. 
However, the turbulent nature of Frank Sinatra's personal life continued to haunt him even in his marriage to Ava Gardner, as he couldn't stay faithful due to his wandering eyes and went down a path of infidelity. The marriage was very turbulent with many well-publicized fights and altercations. Gardner began seeing someone else in 1953 until their divorce was settled in 1957. Sinatra continued his philandering ways and reportedly broke off engagements to Lauren Bacall in 1958 and Juliet Prowse in 1962. He was romantically involved with Pat Sheehan, Vicki Dugan, and Kip Hamilton. Sinatra eventually married Mia Farrow in 1966 and the couple divorced 1968. He eventually married Barbara Marks from 1976 until his death. If you like this video, do not forget to share and subscribe. Also, let us know in the comments who gets your votes as the worst cheater in Hollywood history.